Hello, I'm Miss Zebra. Welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. So for this video, I will be sharing a bit of my hair recovery experience. Um, I will be sharing some of the tips, like about five or six tips or even more of what I actually did to recover from hair loss. Now, in my, when, when my hair loss started, I was... I went into a panic and I took to YouTube and I could not find any video with the situation that I was experiencing. Now my hair loss was caused from taking contraceptive injections and so you know that that was hormonal. Now most of the videos and most persons that I consulted with about hair loss, their journey was more about stress. I was not experiencing stress at the time. So I just thought that there could be other persons out there who have these same issues and are searching for answers and you just won't find them anywhere because most persons, as I said, their hair loss is mainly based or their hair loss is mainly because of stress or some other related issues. So I just want to share now, I'm going to go into some of the things that I actually did to recover from my hair loss and some of the things I'm still doing because I'm not completely there yet. I am not going to lie. I think I am at about 95% recovery of what I lost. And so I will show you pictures throughout the video so that um, you can see the transition. Well, let me just say the first thing I did was that when this started happening, I went into a panic. So I bought all the products on the shelves that promised that it would restore my hair. Um, I tried diatomaceous earth, I tried biotin, I tried just about everything. I tried all the topical products, right? Because most of them promise to recover hair, um, recover your hair but those were not helping. And so when I started doing even more research and because the hair loss was hormonal, I had to treat it from a cellular level, which meant I would need to do some adjustments to my diet. Now my diet wasn't really way off, but it could do it. It could have done with some, um, some, some enhancements. And so what I did, I tried to reduce the artificial foods so like chips and those things i tried to take those out of eliminate those out of my diet and i went for more natural foods so i had increased my intake on natural things like i was eating more aloe vera i was um and i still do do that but i'm just talking now about when i just started losing my hair and after i tried everything that failed um, so I started, well, I must say first and foremost that after everything failed, what I actually did, I really had to reach out to God because he is our creator and he has the manual of what to do to create us. So after I went into that whole panic mode and, um, you know, stressing about because it really did do something to my confidence. So I started praying about it and in praying about it, then I started getting some answers. So some of those things now, as I said, they're, they're related to how I was eating my diet. I was eating a lot more vegetables. Um, cucumber was one of the main things I would also eat more of. Um, my green le leafy vegetables, I did a lot of juicing, green juices, because one thing that you want to do, you want to also um, well, for me, I wanted to, because I'm going at, towards the cellular level, I tried to cleanse my blood and I tried to cleanse my colon and my liver. So I was taking things like um, more Cersei. I don't know if you know what that is, but that is an excellent blood cleanser. And um, we use it here a lot in Jamaica. I was doing a lot more things like in terms of cleansing my blood, I was taking um, inflammation weed, we call it dog blood. Um, that also helps with cleansing because, as I said, it was contraceptive. And because it was hormonal, I was thinking that it was linked to 
my reproductive areas and so um inflammation weed was one of them i increased my intake on guinean weed i just tried to do as much natural things as i could and that's when i actually started seeing some results now some of the things that i really added to my diet i added things like the tuna this is this is excellent excellent i added it both inside and outside i i'm always a lover of um irish mush so or some person will call it sea moss but we call it irish mush um i am a lover of this and so i added more of this to my diet this adds collagen it is excellent for um it has excellent properties that help with skin hair and nails so i increased this in my diet and recently because i know that this is an excellent blood cleanser as well salsiparilla so I added salsiparilla to my diet. So I drink this, I have this as tea. Because one thing to note is that um, what actually happens sometimes when we have hormonal issues, we become anemic. And so when we don't have enough, um, when we're in anemic, then we tend to lose our hair. So um, you need to take be taking things that actually help with... Um, cleansing the blood and just having a healthy blood supply and um, that will help with actually um, restoring the hair so another thing that I did I increased the amount of water that I was um, getting I started drinking a lot more water because that also helps with hair restoration and uh, healthy hair skin and so on I increased exercise well i wasn't exercising at the time and so i added exercise i should say i added exercise to my daily routine so i was exercising like five times per day and i was seeing my hair grow back now if you look in this picture you will actually see the thin areas on my crown and um basically i never wanted to just be going topically at um trying to restore this thing because by the time I figured out it was hormonal, I realized that just putting topical products would not help. And so I tried to increase uh, my, uh, my activities, exercise, so that I could actually flush the toxins out of my body. And um, yeah, basically that as it relates to exercising. And the other thing what that I did was I ditched the products that were not natural on my scalp that was a major improvement i saw a major improvement with that my hair started falling out when i ditched those products so i was using whatever i could eat i would use it on my scalp so honey aloe vera as i said again that has been very beneficial that has been very helpful um in terms of helping me to regain um a lot of my hair I used stuff like uh, onion juice on my scalp. I used just just natural things. I used and I started making my own oils and so on. So I, if you've seen some of my videos, you'll see some of the oils that I actually made or I've been making to help with restoring my hair. And um, it was basically just increasing natural things both inside and outside now one of the things i noticed that even though i did not go in for hair growth but i i, tr I was trying to increase the volume and trying to fill out those bald spots um you can look you can see how thin my hair is in in this um photo i was trying to fill out those bald spots or or that thinning crown and so one of the things that i had to do was to cut down on the amount of manipulation so I, I do a lot of protective styling because that would allow my hair to remain in a very restful stage and um, that low manipulation I saw massive hair growth so I was seeing hair growth from the fact that I was um, dieting um, improving my diet and I saw hair growth when I started um, manipulating my hair less i did more stuff but this is a final tip that i will share 
I increase my intake in sulfur. So I always love onions, right? I eat onions just like that, raw. So I increased that as well in my diet. I was eating a lot more raw onions. So I would just put together a plate of vegetables, greens, whatever it is, my greens, my aloe vera, my onions and so on. And I would just have that for breakfast. Now, while I was studying, I actually, I couldn't take on that because it, it took a lot of time to prepare uh, my own lunch and so on. And so my diet kind of was affected but um before going before before my studies i was actually doing all of these things and my hair was just flourishing you will see that in these photos right i was my hair was flourishing and i managed to grow my hair to 18 inches and i was just happy with that so um those are basically some of my tips for regrowing your hair uh, that those are what i use and i'm hoping that um, somebody can find this information useful and that you will see some benefits from just changing your diet changing your routine adding more natural stuff to both your fit your your internal and external care now that's all i'll share for this video thank you for watching and please leave your comments in the comment section i'll be only happy to reply because i'm sure i didn't cover everything in this video and so if you have any questions don't be afraid to reach out to me i will be willing to share any information that i can that i benefited from and maybe you can benefit from and please remember to share like and subscribe thank you